beautiful NK love fam. Welcome back to another episode of Weekly Angel Guidance. Oh my gosh. Just checking in to see how you went last week because last week you actually had to make a decision which was going to change the course of your life or get you out of a toxic situation. And you had to make that decision because it felt right to you and you were not pleasing anybody else but yourself. So I'm so excited to hear in the comments exactly what manifested for you. Did you take the action? Were you too scared? Did you get caught in the fear junkie stage? I'm excited to hear where you're at. So if you're new to the MK Love fam, my name is Melanie Kate Love. I make videos every single Sunday or Monday, depending on where you are in the world. Now these videos are to help you deal with the energies associated with the week ahead. Speaking of the week ahead, this is gonna be from April the 29th to May the 5th. This week is an exciting week because we also have the new moon in 14 degrees of Taurus, which I'll talk more about later. So the three phases of the moon, we're going to be starting the week off from Monday to Tuesday with the last quarter of the moon. This is when you breathe with ease and give back from a place of love. <laughs> and then Wednesday to Friday is balsamic moon, which you guys know is rest and reflect. Get off social media, get out into mother nature, sleep in, take a bath, paint your nails, do your hair, tint your eyelashes, whatever you need to do get yourself into that vibrational alignment. You know, go out for breakfast, make the best breakfast ever, put on your favorite pajamas and wear them all day long. Whatever you need to do, you need to get yourself back into alignment to prep you because on Saturday, we have the new moon in 14 degrees of Taurus. One and four is five, five is massive transformation. So. Check on the screen right now and I'll tell you what time zone this is for you, depending on where you are in the world. LA's first, 3.45 a.m., New York, 6.45 a.m., London, 11.45 a.m., New Delhi, 4.15 p.m., Brisbane, 8.45 p.m., and Auckland, this is going to be at 10.45 p.m. Now, when the moon is in Taurus, Taurus is the sign which is all about our senses. And because it is 14 degrees in Taurus, one and four is five, so it's that rebirth, awakening, awakening your senses. Your senses are your normal five senses plus your six is your intuitive sense. So this is gonna be really interesting to see how this goes. Taurus is also a sign that is ruled by Venus, Venus being the planet of love. And we've been talking about relationships and really nurturing yourself and how do you navigate relationships around you. So I'm so excited to see what happens. After that three minute long introduction, thank you so much for still being here. Um, and also if you're new, this is just a general reading. I use the Shadowscapes Tarot because it's my absolute favorite. And being a minimalist, I have one and one only. One and only. We've already got a song. Who sings that? Jennifer Hudson? One night only. Jennifer Hudson. Um, hold on, the songs are coming through already. Hudson. One night only. Oh, damn it, I can't put the lyrics in. Let's see what the lyrics are. Um, you and all of my love, my devotion. I don't know how this goes actually. In the morning, the feeling will be gone. One night only, one night only, you'll be the only one. What is that about? There's hardly any words in this song. You've got one night only. That's all you have to spare. One night only, let's not pretend to care. Is this a promiscuous one? I have no doubt that I could love you forever. The only trouble is you don't really, you really don't have the time. Ooh, that is low vibrational. I think one night only is like, you've got one chance. You only got one shot, do not miss a chance to blow cause opportunity goes once in a lifetime. Which is, that's not true at all because the law of attraction will always come back to you when you get to that vibration. What is happening? Okay, Monday, let's see what we need to know for Monday. All right. Angels, sorry I forgot to pray to you before. Can I have, oh, this is a reading for my beautiful MK Love fam. Can I have the cards for Monday? What do we need to know? Heart pain on Monday, I can feel it already. 
And I heard, a change is gonna come right now. Hey, hey. Thank you very much. Okay, that's why I feel the heart pain because we've got the Ten of Swords allowing what it isn't meant to stay to go. And that is difficult. That's you. Pain went up to the throat. Well, we already know you're going through a different, difficult time because you're releasing things that don't serve you. Can we have more clarity? But you're giving back. Maybe the things that don't, like I know whenever I move, I give things away. Like I, I sell what I need to, but I give the majority of it away. Like I sell it because I know when I move, it will energetically come back to me. Oh, and I just saw the card. No, I got it mixed up. I feel a bit weird now that I've started playing with the cards. <sighs> okay. Can we just have clarity on the Ten of Swords for Monday, please? There it is. Okay, so the fear is coming up. Well, that's that's normal. The fear comes up as we navigate different territory and it's scary and we're like... But, uh, hurts the chest. But the fear is like, just look above, it's like, darling, you're chained. Chained to the rhythm. Katy Perry, Chained to the Rhythm. Goodness me. Chain to the rhythm. Katy Perry. Katy Perry's been coming up quite a lot. Um, turn up as your favorite song. Are we crazy living the lives through the lens, trapped in a white picket fence like ornaments? So comfortable we're living in a bubble, bubble. So comfortable we cannot see the trouble, trouble. Oh, it's so interesting. It's the same stuff, but in different songs. Aren't you lonely up there in Utopia? There's nothing when nothing will ever be enough. Ooh, happily numb. So comfortable we're living in a bubble, bubble. Ooh, that's crazy. Turn it up, it's your favorite song. Dance, dance, dance to the distortion. Turn it up, keep it on repeat. Stumbling around like a wasted zombie. Yeah, you think you're free? Drink, this one's on me. We're all chained to the rhythm. Are you tone deaf? <coughs> the throat chakra. <coughs> keep sweeping it under the mat. Oh, shit. Okay. It is my desire. Break down the walls to connect and inspire. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. So that's what you're having trouble breaking free. You're having trouble breaking free because you're getting so caught in the fear. You're not thinking about what what could go right. You're constantly thinking about what can go wrong. That is like being unconscious, that song. Like that is literally being unconscious and doing the things that everyone else is doing because that's what everyone feels that you should be doing. You're not breaking away from the mold. Okay. I think that's the anthem. Change to the rhythm. But you, you made a decision last week. Did some of you actually not follow through on your decision? Is that what's happening? And if you didn't, you're delaying the manifestation. You're delaying all the delicious goodness that is trying to come to you. You have to clear the slate. Goodness. I feel like some of you didn't freaked out. You didn't do it. Ah, that's terrible. Why do you do that? Okay, so Tuesday, which is still the last quarter, which is breathing with ease, you've got the nine of wands, which makes sense because the nine is like, the, this knight is like on the, um, on the lion, but he's like got his, he's in re reserved mode about to pounce. Now we actually had this in the new moon in Aries, like a month ago. Um, and I said, this is so weird that we have this energy because I feel like you're kind of like playing the waiting game. Um, but you were meant to make a decision. Did you not act on your decision? Did you make the, the decision last week but not follow through? Did you chicken out? I feel like some of you, I feel like a lot of you did actually. I was so excited because like I made the decision. I went through. 
some of you didn't. But the Nine of Wands is like you're on the journey and you know exactly where you need to go. I feel like you're headed in the right direction, but you haven't really... You're ready to pounce when you need to, but you haven't pounced yet. What? Okay, Wednesday, Balsamic Moon. Do we need to know, angels? Thanks. Okay, so the Eight of Cups. You know what feels best for you and you've... <coughs> Do you feel... I can't talk today and I just, I just finished on most of my water. <clears throat> the Eight of Cups is you've, you've made a decision and you're going with what feels emotionally right for you. So you have made a decision, but I don't feel like you've, some of you have acted upon it. You got caught in the fear and you're like, why is this happening to me? I can't get out. I want to bang free, but I can't do it. It's like, you can, you need to ask for help. You have to ask for help. I know so many of you are caught in these toxic relationships and you've been married for 20 years and you have children. And you're like, I don't know what the freaking hell I'm going to do. I don't have any money because I haven't been working and I have nothing just for me. You need to see what is in your local community. You need to ask your friends, say, can I please stay on the couch to just get me out of that situation? Go to a woman's shelter. Jump on a call with me, you know, like I offer free 45 minute sessions to see if we're an energetic match for my coaching program so I can help you through this transition to help you heal that pain, release the childhood trauma so you don't continue that cycle of abuse. Ugh. I'm mad. Like, why didn't you, why aren't you looking after yourself? Why aren't you looking after yourself? Okay, Thursday. Thursday, we've got quite a number of cards. So one, two, three, four. Four is stability. Four legs of the chair. That's how I remember four. Four legs of the chair, stability, but it's also intuitive stability. Let me just pull the first card. Nine of pentacles. Okay. So you have been through some challenges because you've got this lovely piano that has grown, the tree has grown through the piano, but you're still continuing to play. Is it like you're still trying to like keep the peace? Is it like you're still trying to keep the peace? So things still look good on the outside? Okay, let's get clarity. I'm just gonna flip them around. Okay, so we've got the hangman. So you're not looking at this from the, you're looking at this from the wrong perspective. Oh shit. Really? The four of pentacles is like hoarding. You're holding it too close to your t your chest that you can't actually breathe. The judgment, well, freaking hell, that has been coming for weeks and weeks and weeks. You're so scared of what other people are going to say. You're so scared of what other people can do. If you're legitimately fearing for your life, you need to call one of the helplines down below so you can speak to someone that can instantly help you there is only so much i can do i want to help every single one of you like my mission is in life is to make sure that every single person can grow up to break the cycle of abuse so they don't repeat it for their their children you know which would change a whole generation of consciousness to ascend to the next level you know i i that's why I do what I do. I don't want anyone to go through the shit in which I had to do. I don't want anyone to feel the way that I used to feel. And that's why I'm so passionate about what I do. But I can only meet you. I can only meet you. I can. I heard that song. You can go your own way. Go your own way. We can do that another lonely day. Whatever the words are to that, it's like I can I can help you to the level you actually want to be helped. Like there's so many people that I have spoken to recently on these calls that want the help, and I'm like here at the gates, just about to welcome them in, and they're like, I can't do it, I can't do it. It's like you need to find a way to level up. To like, there's only so much I can do to help you. That's what I'm trying to say. There is only so much you can do to help yourself if you're not going to open those gates to allow someone in. Allow someone in could be your friend. It could be your, <clears throat> your partner, your sibling, you know, your best friend, a, a complete stranger, you know. I'm getting pain behind my ear and my throat. I've never had that in a reading before. Okay, and then the other card that I got is the Knight of Wands, which is that unstoppable force. We had the Knight on Tuesday, the Nine of Wands, and now we've got the Knight of Wands. So he's like on the journey, but there's, 
There's a lot of shit going on behind the scenes. The hangman is that you're not looking at this from the right perspective. Maybe you're reflecting. Oh, well, it's in the reflecting stage. Duh. Thursday, reflecting with gratitude. Maybe you're thinking back. Um, looking back on the life I've been given. <clears throat> it's done with a person how I lost control. Uh, Tina Arena, what's the song? <clears throat> I'm just going to type the lyrics into Google and figure out what the song is. As I reflect on a life I've been given. Tina Arena. Please find the songs. The song to that. Still running. Uh -huh. Don't look back, don't you ever do that. Don't look back, I'm never looking back. Actually, that's not the song. <laughs> oh my God, this song is like an absolute power anthem. You took my freedom and I'm still running. Oh my God, can I listen to it? Please let me listen to it. Friggin' hell, that is a crazy song. Okay, let me see if I can figure out the words without getting copyrighted. I'm like, why don't I just use headphones all along? Running. You took my freedom, but I'm still running. This is a really, like, like... You took my freedom, oh, I didn't plug it in. These walls are built up, you can't climb no more. Okay, so you're, you're taking down the walls. Oh my god, that's such a... Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I forgot to tell you something last week. I know we're at 17 minutes and this is taking a lot longer than I wanted to, but I realized something last week, that we are actually going through a pattern that happened 10 years ago. If you think back to 2009, there was something that occurred in April, in May, and then it was preparing you for September. I kind of feel like we're like going through this cleansing stage this year because you know we're setting ourselves up for the next 20 and 30 years. We're getting rid of all the bullshit and it's it's really tough. And every week I say, you know, clear your blockages and do this and blah blah blah. It's not easy. It's I understand it's tough. I feel that too, you know. Um, 10 years ago was when in April, when I got out of that four year toxic relationship that was emotionally abusive and it literally changed it. Oh, I don't know how to explain it. It was a relationship where I was programmed by this person to believe that I was a useless piece of shit. Don't wear that. You're going to look fat. Don't wear those colors. Oh, are you, why are you saying that to your mom on the phone? Like everything was micromanaged. And then in May, I then moved back home with my mom and my dad for four months. I saved my butt off because I knew that I was moving to London because I had a synchronicity around April that changed everything. I got an email from, who did I used to work for? Protocol Education in the UK. That was the teaching company that I work with and they did this. They emailed me and that day I actually checked my junk mail and for some reason, look who checks your junk mail these days? Um, and there was an email saying that there was an event in Tuong at this time um, for a presentation. I remember I went to the presentation, I got in the car after, I called my mom and I was like, I'm leaving such and such, I'm moving back home. And <laughs> I somehow got home, I packed my house up in five hours, called a removalist truck and I was gone. So there was a lot of stuff that happened around that time. So you may have, think back to 10 years, like what happened 10 years. And then in September, I moved to London by myself. I booked a one-way ticket. I never even left Australia. I never even went out of Queensland, you know? So I feel like we're going through that. Um, yeah, I realized it. No, I'm not going to tell you why, but I think this is what's happening. 
you're trying to break the cycle. You don't want to go back to who you used to be 10 years ago. You've already leveled up in so many different ways. And this is an opportunity for you to flourish and to set the foundation right, because this is 20 and 30 years that we're looking forward. You know, if you're in a relationship that, can you see yourself with this person for 20 or 30 years? If not, what the freaking hell are you doing? doing to yourself you have to look after you that's what we've been talking about defying gravity you know <sighs> those lyrics to that song is very very powerful it's like you took my freedom but i'm still breathing like what comes up for you um looking back on a life i've been given has got me puzzled how i lost control when the heart's when the heart's screaming words like just leave it but I was broken with nowhere to go ah, I feel that you feel that goosebumps setting fire to the hurt and the reason I played a part in my role was a fool didn't know I was trapped in believing to know this day was just all about you you took my freedom but I'm still running you stole my heart you tore my heart but it's still beating you stole my beauty, but it's still glowing. These walls I built up, you can't climb no more. Do you feel that? Oh, wow. As I reflect on the things that have happened, here are the scars that I'm left to erase. If it's a story with, if it's your story, then run with the millions and never give up on this mindless pace, setting fire to the hurt and the reason, blah, blah, blah. It's just like saying, like, I built these walls up and I didn't know that I was being suffocated. Like, I feel the pain and I know how difficult it can be to get out of those situations. Because I used to be that person. Oh, shit. All the cards just went everywhere. Okay. There are two cards. Oh, three cards that just... I just came up the first one I saw which is the four of swords which is it's the coffin position which means you have to rest you have to look after yourself I'm reading this for Friday by the way which is still in the balsamic moon then I saw the night the king of wands I just looked at the clock two 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 so this is partnership king of wands is getting to the end of something once is passion projects things that you love people that you used to love you're getting to the end of this journey and then you've got the seven of the ones which is that fighting this is my fight song take back my life song okay so this is fighting for what you believe you could this could be so many things this could be you reflecting on what you have been through and know that it's just been boom 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 like when somebody convinces you that you're a useless piece of shit or if somebody um no you allow no i have to choose my words carefully you allowed someone to make you feel like you're a useless piece of shit um but you're not i'm, I'm just talking from what i used to went what i had been through but this isn't the best time it means so you're reflecting back. So you're resting and as you're resting, you're thinking about like, I've gotten to this stage. Some of you could have left a challenging situation last week. Some of you could have done something really ballsy. Oh my gosh. Oh, what's her name? Can Kenna, avoid something on Instagram? I can't remember her name. Oh my gosh. She packed up her van. <laughs> it's so crazy. As soon as I finish the live chat with Weekly Angel Guidance, I get all these amazing messages. Um, one of them, I got a video message and she's like, Mel, guess what? I literally packed up all my shit. I took my kitten. I got in my van and I started driving. I had no idea where the flip I was going. I was like, good Lord, love, what the hell? And she's like, I know that I was going to meet my twin flame. And then a couple of days later, she's like, I met my twin flame again. So you have to, you have to be ballsy in your decisions and your convictions. Ugh, I know this is painful. You know what you need to do. You have to allow someone in to help you. If you've been doing this by yourself, you're going to continue to get the same results. You have to seek help and guidance from whoever that feels energetically best for you. There's only so much I can do, but if you don't book in to chat to me, there's not much I can do. Okay, so Saturday we have the full moon and 14 degrees of Taurus. So this is about the senses. 
I reset my intention and feel the emotions associated. What do we need to know for this new moon? It's very gentle. Whereas Friday was very, I think because I could feel the pain coming up in the song. Okay. Seven of Swords is about lies and deceit and not facing a situation. It's like hiding. Oh, please don't do that to yourself. Or are you hiding from somebody else because your life is in fear? Uh, in, not fear. Your life is in jeopardy? Fudge. Okay, let's get clarity for the new moon because this is going to be with us for the next month. You're finishing a chapter because the, the full moon in 29 degrees of Libra was like not that long ago. Jeez, this is full on. Crying in a reading, dropping all my cards, listening to all these lovely, crazy, emotional, heartbreaking songs. Jeez. It's so interesting. Like, I know look, because I move, because I have in the past moved quite a lot, I became in a min minimalist along the way because I'm like, you don't really need that much stuff to be happy. You just need the essentials and the things that spark joy. Everything that I own, literally, everything that I own sparks joy. If it doesn't, it's gone. I've given it away. I've sold it. So this is kind of like you getting rid of the things that don't spark joy for you in every sense of the world. People, places, your belongings, the cup of tea that you drink in the morning, the cup of tea that you drink from in the morning. Like this water bottle. I freaking hate it. It is so ugly. I hate this green and I'm getting rid of it. So I lied. It's not everything that I own. But I'm keeping that until I find a new one. I want a purple one. <laughs> I want an MKL colored one. Okay. Um, I forgot to ask the angels what I need help for. Can I have clarity on the seven of swords, please, for the new moon in Taurus? If you're joining me on the live chat, thank you so much for being so patient. I hope you're doing all right. There it is. Ooh, it's a celebration. Whoa. You know, I've been talking for like three weeks saying like, get your, grow your lady balls, do something to help yourself. And I know that that, like that sounds so, it can be very condescending, but it could be like, you know, why haven't you done it? Like some of you may be packing up your whole life and changing your whole life. It may not be like changing jobs. I don't feel like it's about jobs. This is about relationships, let's be real. Some of you could be invested for decades in a relationship. Figuring out who you are now without who you used to be in your old chapter. Anyway, so the Four of Wands is a celebration. So you're celebrating that you have gotten to a stage where you're not putting up with the shit anymore. The lies, the deceit. You're not hiding anymore. You're setting yourself free. I'm like a bird. I want to fly away. I don't know where my home is. I don't know where my soul is. Is that the words? I'm like a bird. Well, who sings that? Nelly Furtado? That's an old song. Like a bird. Nelly Furtado. That's an old song. You're beautiful. That's for sure. You never ever fade. You're lovely. But it's not for sure. And I won't ever change. Well, that's that's not true. And though my love is rare and though my love is true, I'm like a bird and I'll only fly away. I don't know where my soul is. I don't know where my home is. And baby, all I need to know is I'm like a bird. Is your faith in me brings me to tears even after all these years and it pains me so much to tell you. Whoa, this song is friggin' sad. Um, what did she say? It's not that I want to say goodbye. Ooh, okay, so this is leaving a situation. It's just that every time you try, you tell me that you love me each time and every single day. I know I'm gonna have to eventually give you away. Ooh, okay, this is kind of like, yeah, this is you separating. You know how I've heard that song for so long? You gotta keep it separated. Like there's so many different things that are happening. Like you're releasing things and it's, 
you're celebrating that you're not taking it anymore in this new moon. You're actually tuning into your senses. How does it feel? What does your dream life look like, feel like, smell like, taste like? Like when I manifest, I manifest based on senses. I know, go, I want it to have lots of lovely windows and I want it to have super fast internet and I want it to have a lovely view. I, I want to feel like when I wake up, I want to feel free. I want to feel comfortable. I want to feel privacy because that's something that we haven't had for such a long time. I want to like, manifest based on the senses. So you're setting up your new moon intentions. Tension. I am so happy and grateful now that I feel insert what you want to feel manifest based on feelings that's one of my little golden secrets you're welcome <laughs> all right sunday sunday is throat pain sunday i reset my intentions and allow the universe to guide whoa whoa ah the star card <laughs> yes <laughs> <laughs> dream dream big the star is making a wish knowing that there is light there's light guiding you through the darkness i'm not strange to the dark now i can dance clouds of all doubt disappear freed of my hope freed of my hope so dear because nobody knows me here. It's like you may need a fresh slate. What does this fresh slate look like for you? Holy flip, you're going through a tough time. We're all going through a tough time. Oh, my hair's falling. Oh, it's going through a tough time. <laughs> okay. Oh, card of the week. We're already at 31 minutes. My gosh. Sorry, guys. Bit of a chatty wetty today. Oh, okay. Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands is taking on too much. Simplify. This is about simplifying your life, working smarter, not harder. You're trying to do this, 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 and this. Focus on one. Stay laser focused on that and go for flipping gold. Okay, you can do this though. You, you know, think about when your intuition comes in. You have literally five seconds before fear smashes that and goes, you can't do it. You're not worthy. You're not enough. It's like, are you flipping kidding me? Do you know who I am? I am fabulous. I'm creative. I'm wonderful. I am lovable because I exist and I am not putting up with your shit no more. Mm -mm -mm. Don't go there, girlfriend. It's like, you got that sass. You're getting your sass back. And in order to get that sass back and that flame, you're going through shit and it's not going to be easy and it's going to be really hard. And it's basically the same reading as last week. You have to look at things from a different perspective. There is beauty in your pain. Every single person that I know that is super happy and that is living in alignment with their true authentic self has been through hell. You know, you don't just get to that stage because, oh, well, you could if you had a beautiful upbringing and you had learned your self-love practices and you knew how to regulate your emotions, but those people are very rare. <laughs> Most, well, actually, I don't know anyone who hasn't had some type of trauma or some type of issue or been through something. Not everyone talks about it. That's the thing. Anyways, my love, basically what I was saying is that this week is all about you breathing with ease, giving back from a place of love, resting, reflecting on how far you've got and setting your new moon intentions based on an emotion. How do you want to feel? I am so happy and grateful now that I feel... Insert what you want to manifest for this next this next month chapter. You know, there it's just what you need to focus for one month. Don't think about, well, think about where you want to be in your dream life. Then I segment into where do I want to be in six months time? And then what six steps do I need to take to get me to where I want to be in six months? And then focus on that. I talk more about this in my coaching program. I spend a lot of time showing you how do you manifest with the moon. So if you want to find out more, all you have to do is click the link in my bio, jump to my website, melaniekatelove.com forward slash free training. And if you feel that you would love to know more about my story, how I've been able to heal my life, how I've been able to break the cycle of abuse and how you can too, all you have to do is just check that training. And if you feel like you'd love to book in for a session with me, please do that because I would love to chat with you. I would love to hear about where you're at and to talk about where you actually want to be. And if we're in vibrational match, I'll invite you into the program. Anyways, my love, thanks so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching this lengthy video. I kind of was a bit of extra chatty Cathy today. Um, I hope you don't mind. If you join me on the live chat, thank you so much for taking time out of your day 
to collectively a beautiful MK Love Bam to chat with each other at the same time. Like that is a true blessing. And I'm very grateful that some of you wait up till like 11 o'clock at night or super early in the morning. I'm very grateful. So thank you so much. And if you have loved today's episode and you're new to the fam, hit the red subscribe button, hit that, that thumbs up button because that helps me out with getting noticed in YouTube and YouTube will then spread it to more people. That would be amazing. And I'll talk to you next week. Whew. Have an amazing week. I know that, you know, don't take on too much. Simplify what do you need to eliminate in your life so you can set yourself up for success for the next 20 to 30 years. Have an amazing week and I'll talk to you soon. I love you so much. Goodbye.